Hello friends, you are watching All Season Gardening and today's topic that I am discussing is 10 fragrant flowers for heavily smelling garden. First one is tuberose, a strong scented flower locally known as Rajni Gandha. It is a perennial plant that can be grown in pots, near windows or balconies. Once planted it, keep on producing white fragrant flowers for 2-3 years. Roses Apart from looks and colors, roses are known for the familiar fragrance. Some varieties of roses, particularly the edible and local ones, are exclusively grown for the petal perfume. Jasmines, the most fragrant flowers that can be grown in home garden are jasmines. There are so many extremely popular species of jasmine like jay, juhi, bela, mogra, chameli, etc. Most of them are perennial climbers and can be grown in big size pots. Next one is parijat. This beautiful night blooming shrub is mentioned in ancient Indian literature as well. Plant can be grown in pots if it is regularly pruned. Shrub blooms profusely at night and makes a carpet flower in the morning after dropping off. Ratkirani. No fragrant garden in India is complete without this. Nocturnal beauty, the night blooming sestrum, this perennial shrub can be grown in flowers and cycles throughout the year. Sweet pea, these tender climbing annuals are grown for the flower curl and for the intense unique fragrance. Chamba, these are some of the best smelling flowers. There are many small size flowering trees in India referred as chamba which may or may not be botanically related. Notable genera are Magnolia, Myclea, Plumbrera and many more. Kevada Ketaki The great Indian Kevada is most delightful, riches and powerful perfumes even when dried. Kevada plant naturally grown in swampy areas in form of mini forest. It can be grown in large containers. Gardenia, Cape Jasmine. These are beautiful evergreen shrubs that can be grown as house plants. Plants bloom for a long time with large white flowers with sweet fragrance that can perfume the entire room. Sweet Alsum. This is a sweet smelling annual that can be grown by seeds. This plant requires plenty of sunlight for proper blooming. It can be grown in pots, flower beds and herbaceous borders. If you find it informative, then subscribe my channel for more such information and videos. Thank you. Hello friends, I'm Sujata and you're watching All Season Gardening. Today's topic is indoor plants you can grow from cuttings. Philodendron, botanical name philodendron, snip off the stem and place the cutting in glass of water. When a good network of roots establish, the cutting is ready to accumulate in a pot filled with potting soil. You can start philodendron cuttings in soil the similar way. Transdensetia. You can easily propagate the plant from Dracentia genus by simply cutting off a branch and submerging in water or potting medium. It will form roots in 2-4 weeks. Umbrella tree, indoor sclerophylla varieties can be multiplied from stem cuttings. Plant them in 1-2 inches deep in potting mix and set the pot in bright humid spot. African violets. Just cut a healthy stem from the plant and dip the rooting hormone. Put it in an inch deep in the pot filled with potting mix and wait for the new plants to develop. Snake plant. You can multiply your favorite variety of snake plant from pubs or leaf cuttings. It's easy. Prayer plant. You can gr grow it from stem cuttings without any difficulty. Remove cutting just below the nodes, closer to the bottom of stems and put them in potting mix. 
क्रोटोन टू प्रोपोगेट क्रोटोन प्लांट फ्रॉम कटिंग्स सिलेक्ट अ थ्री फोर इंचज लॉन्ग स्टेम विद एट लीस्ट थ्री सेट ऑफ लीव्स प्लेस द स्टेम इन अ पॉट फिल्ड विद लाइट वेट पॉटिंग मिक्स ओ वॉट जेट प्लांट बोटेनिकल नेम क्रोजोला ओवेटा मल्टीप्लाई दिस गुड लक प्लान बाय कटिंग फोर फाइव इंच साइज स्टेम्स एंड प्रोपोगेट दैम इन पॉट फिल्ड विद वेल ड्रेनिंग सर्कल एंड मिक्स ओ वाटर जेरेनियम्स बोटेनिकल नेम पेलेग्रेनियम यूज अ शार्प स्योर टू कट अब ऑफ द टोंट और अ स्वॉलन पार्ट ऑफ द स्टेम दैट इज फोर फाइव इंच स्टेम साइज विद सम टॉप लीव अटैच and place in a pot filled with potting mix begonia botanical name begonia c for a propagation from stem cutting take a 4 inch stem and place it in glass of water or a pot of soil the roots will emerge in 4 5 weeks english ivy cut off a stem of english ivy that has least four set of leaves dip the end part in a rooting hormone and push it in a pot filled with soil or place it in glass of water for more such information subscribe to my channel press the like button and share it thank you hello friends i'm sujatha once again welcome back to my channel today's topic is 10 most poisonous plant you must know the tura the tura stromanium is one of the most poisonous plant found in india and also used in many cultures as a poison all parts of the tura plant are poisonous calotropis calotropis plant are called madar in india and found in abundant in open area grassland and farmland the milky latex from the leaves and stem of calotropis contains poison parthenium parthenium or gajar khas is the common invasive species in india the plant causes milk disease in livestock and also responsible for respiratory malfunction in humans nerium olander nerium olander and all parts are toxic and one of the most poisonous grown plant in india nerium plants are commonly grown in gardens of india castor beans rickenus is known as arandi in hindi and india is the largest producer of castor oil the plant is not poisonous but the seeds are poisonous to people animals and insects plumera all parts of the plumera plant are toxic the milky can cause rash and vomiting leaves or flower of plumera also cause itching burning sensation and irritate the digestive system crab's eye plant crab's eye plant is native to india and sri lanka and its seeds are poisonous the plant is also used in ayurveda and traditional indian unit of mass measurement yellow olander yellow olander is the most common poisonous plant found in india the plant contains cardiac glycosides debenbachia debenbachia is the most common indoor plants and poisonous too leaves of debenbachia dangerous to humans or animals and causes immediate pain cerebera odulum cerebera odulum is native to india and mostly found in coast parts of kerala the plant is known as society tree 
in India and its potent poison was used for suicide and murder. So friends, this is all about the topic. Hope you found it interesting. If you like this video, press like button and share with family, friends and relatives. If you are new to my channel then subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon to get the notification of new videos. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Hello friends of Sujata you watching all season gardening. Today's topic is most beautiful medicinal flowers in India. Medicinal plants and flowers are used for medicinal purposes in Ayurveda as an alternative medicine for the list of treatment of disease in India. Here is the list of top 10 stunning medicinal flowers of India to grow in your house garden, herbal and ornamental. Holly Basil Holly Basil plant is native to the Indian subcontinent known for religious and traditional medicine purposes commonly used in Ayurveda as well as for herbal tea. Tulsi flowers and leaves are used in Ayurveda for the treatment of various diseases such as fever, insect bite, asthma and natural toothpaste. Hibiscus Hibiscus is the most popular red flower, also known as one of the most divine flowers found in India and favorite flower of Hindu gods. Hibiscus flowers are cultivated as ornamental plants and tea made from hibiscus flowers is highly nutritious with vitamin C content. Also has medicinal uses in Ayurveda. Marigold. The African marigold is a state flower of Gujarat and very popular in Indian culture during festive of the Pavali, used for decoration and religious events. The Calendola variety of marigold has a list of health benefits with great healing abilities like new skin tissue and merry. Gold flower tea is good remedy for mouth and stomach ulcer. Night flowering jasmine. The night flowering jasmine is also known as tree of sorrow and is official flower of state of West Bengal. Parijat seeds, flowers and leaves have been used in Ayurvedic medicine and homeopathy. Creep jasmine and Arabian jasmine and Indian jasmine are few more species of white jasmine plants of India used in Ayurvedic medicine of India and the traditional medic medicine of Indonesia. Scrayed lotus Indian lotus is the most beautiful aquatic plant species and is the national flower of India. Indian lotus is cultivated in water gardens for its edible seeds, rhizomes used for diarrhea, cholera, fever in Ayurveda. Blue pea The flower used for natural food coloring and in traditional Ayurvedic medicine for memory enhancing and cleaning wounds. Exora Red Exora Red or Jungle Geranium is common flowering shrub, most commonly in Hindu god worship as well as in Ayurveda of Indian folk medicine. Rosy Periwinkle Rosy Periwinkle found across the world as grown as ornamental and medicinal plant. Its flowers, roots and shoots are used against several diseases in India, traditional 
Madison of Arveta. Rose. Rose flowers are very popular cut flowers with hundreds of species in different colors and most of the species are native to India and Asia. The rose hip is a source of vitamin C used in herbal and folk medicine for stomach problems and also flowers are used for rose water with distinctive flavor and make herbal tea. Sunflower Sunflower mainly cultivated as food crops for humans as ornamental plants in gardens. The edible medicine plant with seeds and flowers are a good source of phosphorus and certain minerals which are beneficial for your health and helps reduce blood pressure and sports bone health. So friends, this is all about the topic. Hope you found it interesting. If you like this video, press like button and share this video with family, friends and relatives. If you are new to my channel, then subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon to get the notification of new videos. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Hello friends, I'm Sujata and you're watching All Season Gardening. The topic I'm discussing today is 8 climbing plants for Indian balconies and gardens. In simple words, clambers here refer to the plants that grow upwards using a support. Clambers develop tendrils or suckers for twining themselves around their props. Although they spread naturally, their stems can be tied to lead them to extend towards a particular direction. Here is a list of clambers that write for Indian homes like yours. Bougainvillea. Take about clambers. The Bougainvillea, the first plant genus that comes to my mind. It is a low-cure wine, commonly recognized by its flamboyant clusters of vividly hoid flower like brackets. The actual tiny white flower nestled within. A healthy bougainvillea brackets of magenta, pink, red, orange, yellow or white create a wonderful splash of color. What it needs? This ornamental plant requires full sun and well-drained soil. Water it regularly, initially for the steady growth, but after that make it as a good deep water occasionally. Do not overwater. It is tolerant to drought and salt, making it suitable for raising in hot, dry and coastal climates too. Blue Morning Glory, also known as Blue Dawn Flower or Koliawa. This evergreen vine features striking blue-purple trumpet-shaped flowers, dark green velvety heart-shaped leaves and a slender twining stem. It produces fragile new flowers every day during late summer and autumn. What it needs? Blue morning glory needs exposure to full sun, well-drained soil and regular watering. When in growth, feed it, fertilize it that time too. It is best to shelter the plant from strong winds. Devil Ivy Devil Ivy is commonly known as money plant or golden pothos in India. Heart shaped leaves with yellow or white spectacles are the main characteristic of this evergreen clamor vine. It is a low cure, fast growing plant. What it needs? Bright, direct sunlight and low humidity. Do not suit this vine. A shaded or semi shaded zone of the garden would suit it just right. Regular watering is needed in summer months and infrequently during winter. Star Jasmine The fragrance laden star jasmine or confidate jasmine is an evergreen glamour but it is not too jasmine. It wears shiny green foliage and white flowers on woody stems. The five petal flowers blossom abundantly during the late summer and spring. What it needs, although star jasmine is a hardy winter tolerant plant, it favors medium watering and drained soil. It can do well in full to partial sun conditions. Bengal clock wine. The Bengal clock wine has lovely trumpet shaped blue flowers born in long clusters, dense foliage and perennial growth. 
This native Indian plant, also known as Bengal trumpet or blue sky flower, has rope-like stems which twine only clockwise, giving it its unusual home. What it needs? The Bengal cloak vine is a low-maintenance evergreen plant. It grows best in moderate conditions, partially sunny, warm, gently moist weather. Sweet Potato Wine A very distinct relative of the potato wine is surprisingly from the Blue Morning Glory family. It is a vigorously growing perennial plant species with beautiful dark green to lime green leaves and white flowers with purple throats. It, its enlarged sweet scratchy root is edible sweet potato vegetable popularly cultivated in parts of South and East India. The ornamental variety is known as tuberous morning glory. What it needs? This vegetable producing wine requires moderate watering all through the year. It enjoys a well drained soil under full to partial sun exposure. Flame wine. The flame wine or golden shower clamor is fast growing woody clamor that blooms with countless orange red flowers during the winter and spring. The tip of each branch forms a cluster of 15 to 20 flowers presenting a distinctive look to the vine plant. What it needs? Regular watering and full partial sun facilitates the healthy growth of this evergreen clamor. Bleeding Heart Wine The Bleeding Heart Wine is a woody wine bearing ornamental bicolored flowers and bushy green leaves. The five loved white sepals with little red flowers contrast with the green backdrop, making the clamor picture square and charming. The flowers blossom abundantly through the summer months. What it needs? The wine loves sunlight and thrives when water regularly. If you like this type of content and if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe to my channel, like it, share it and also add a comment. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Hello friends, I am Sujata once again. Welcome back to my channel. The topic that I am discussing today is 48 stunning aglonema varieties or Chinese evergreen types. Brighten up your home by growing one of the most colorful houseplants. Pick your favorite from these best aglonema varieties. Chinese evergreen, the beautiful specimen with white strip green leaves and pale green stems and is also ranked as one of the top ear cleaning plants in the famous NASA list. Burmese evergreen, an ideal choice for low light spaces like offices and homes. This variety stays lush even in minim minimalistic sun. Red peacock. Its green leaves are designed with pink veins and streaks which makes for alluring houseplant. Keep it in bright light for optimum growth and best display of its colors. Cutlass. Blade like streak green and creamy white foliage with dark green central veins of this plant can bring a vibrant look in both indoors and landscapes. Amulet Bay Amulet Bay features a fantastic blend of color, edges with a silver gray center. It is more tolerant of low light conditions than other variegated varieties. Halukun Halukun changes its appearance according to light. It stays green with yellow splotches and pink vein in shade, while light makes the leaves take uniform yellow tint with pink hues. Silver Queen the silver green variegated leaves are lens shaped that look stunning on short stems. The best part of plant is it continues to look gorgeous irrespective of changes in light. Silver King 
Silver King has green leaves with silver beaming from the prime vein of the leaf. It survives in dim light areas, rooms with indirect light, hallways and offices. Maria Christina It looks similar to Eglenema Silver Queen with slightly smaller and dense foliage growth. Also, it is more cold tolerant too. Maria Native to Philippines it is also popular as Amrlet Beauty. Its slow-growing variety has deep and light green pattern foliage and is also very easy to care for and maintain. Animal Anemone If you love your hands plants with spotted leaves, then this will win your heart with its dusty pink spots on dark green wide leaves. Georgiae ruby, an award-winning plant. The plant has mix of dark and light green foliage, variegated with chart reuse and dark pink weeds. B.G. Freeman, the plant features large leaves with gray green and white marking. It is a dependable specimen when it comes to low maintenance and lighting requirements. Black lens. Black lens is a tall upright variety that displays long and narrow deep green leaves with the broad strip of silver green streak in the middle of the foliage. Brilliant. Just like the name, the leaves are brilliantly molted with cream white midrib and creamy gray splotches on dark green surface. It also purifies the air and is considered to bring good luck. Kauri, the Aglonema variety, produces charming leaves patterned with silver green feathery stripes on white or cream colored stems. It also has good tolerance to cold. Debra, Debra foliage has dark green edges and a matching grey-green center with veins. This low-maintenance variety is ideal for someone who got black thumbs. Amulet Star Amulet Star has a vigorous growth rate and features dense multicolor foliage with a mix of dark and light green spots. It is also handles gold very well. Red Gold the cultivator show off its best colors when kept in sunlight, but afternoon shade is must. The leaves have a mix of green, gold and cream with borden covered with exceptional shade of red. Syme Aurora This beautiful Aglonema variety is less common cultivator with bold pink edges on green leaves. It grow upright and tolerates low light conditions and also rounds up as lucky plant according to feng shui. Abujan, a rare specimen, it is a tough plant that has long and wide camouflage foliage with gray and green spots. It is quite tolerant of shade which makes it great for low lit rooms. Amelia Amelia is another beautiful variety with variegated dark green silver gray leaves. The dense foliage can bring tremendous beauty to the corners with the min minimalistic demands. Cumutatum The evergreen perennial resembles a dumb cane in look. It native to north northeastern celebs and grows up to one to two feet in height. Pictum tricolor. The plant is mainly found in Nayas and Sumatra islands. It is slow growing subtropical plant that has the shiny leaves with astonishing colors. Tigress. The long foliage make for a bushy indoor plant and has 
olive green color leaves with green white stripes are from where the plant derives its name wishes this variety stands out because of its foliage with shades of pink to red color leaves this cultivator makes for excellent house plant it is one of the best aglonema varieties chocolate this dark green color plant has light pink to red color veins that needs very little or no maintenance chocolate is one of the darker aglonema varieties cutlass with its long slim leaves and shade of a blade cutlass really seems to be living up to its name the color of the foliage is pale silver green with marking in dark green rotunda it is a decorative plant with many interesting varied varieties to choose from from best colors keep it as a spot where it can get bright in direct light pink moon it is a attractive plant that tolerates low light conditions the freckles and spots of pink and white on the foliage make it quite stunning lady valentine while most of the varieties are found in shades of green the lady valentine comes in the shade of pink the cure is similar to the green counterparts with minimal differences white rain aglonema white rain offers attractive variegated foliage with a white cream colored stem that flows through the leaf center golden madonna it has a cream colored stem with green and gold spotted foliage madonna makes and gold spotted an excellent house plant especially for table tops spring snow aglonema spring snow is mostly known for its beautifully patterned leaves in white and green that grow comparatively taller over time this plant is easy to cure for favinoin the chinese evergreen variety is another easy to cure for plant it looks stunning with pink splashed leaves having green edge amaryllid beauty aglonema amaryllid beauty is good for low light it looks attractive with spots of light green and white on the foliage pink dalmatian aglonema pink dalmatian grows just about anywhere in the house or outdoors as the name suggests it has a pink spots and splashes all over the leaves green papaya the plant looks stunning thanks to its lime green color leaves and bright pink stems the color retains its vibrancy and depth in every growing season atta rose with green colored edges and freckles on leaf in hues of red pink it makes for a great indoor plant the elegant variety of aglonema gets a pink hue when placed in low light golden fluorite this variety features green leaf edges stems and veins also the leaves have splashes of golden green pink and yellow diamond bay if you love house plants with white hues then it is it the foliage has a wide band of white with a dark green hue on either side butterfly it is a draw tolerant hardy plant that is low on maintenance and also act as a purifier the leaves look like have been painted by an artist leprechaun leprechaun thrives in a compact form the leaves have subtle shade of cream that melts beautifully with the green edges of the foliage silverado This variety is popular choice for comparatively dark spaces as the bright splashes of silver white variegation helps to brighten up otherwise shade spots 
Jamini. Aglonema Jamini is one of the most used varieties with pale silver green color, leaves that are medium in size and curl slightly under. Red Sumitra. This variety is mainly grown on the islands of Sumitra, hence the name coming in beautiful shades of red, maroon. It is one of the best aglonemas you can grow. Red Emperor. It is relatively new addition to the houseplant world. This attractive plant show of dark green colored leaves elegantly splashed with bright red. Red Emerald. Aglonema red emerald is turning evergreen perennial variety from Aracea family and is most popular for its distinct red and green color leaves. So friends, this is all about the topic. Hope you like and enjoy the video. If you like this type of content, then you can subscribe to my channel for more, more such information. Thank you friends. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hello friends, I'm Sujata. Once again, welcome back to my channel. The topic that I'm discussing today is 12 tropical plants to grow indoors. Tropical house plants can bring color and exotic flair to your home, even if you live in colder climate. The following tropical plants can be grown indoors to bring a bit of the jungle or rainforest into your living room bathroom or bedroom. First is Amazon Elephant Ear. Amazon Elephant Ear is common but distinctive, almost regal. Large arrow-shaped green leaves are rippled with silver. They are much easier to grow inside than most alocasia species and provide seasonal display of wonderful foliage. They prefer rich fast draining, potting soil and do require regular feeding. This plant originated in Southeast Asia. Light, shade or filtered sun, water, keep moist but avoid wet roots. Anthorium, it is a tropical plant that is highly prized for its stately bright flowers. Many anthorium cultivators are available and while they are challenging to grow, they are highly rewarding plants. Plant them in rich, loose potting soil and be sure the roots are not too moist. If you are looking specifically for plants with pink color, pink flowers or leaves, Consider adding a Mexican shrimp plant to your collection. Light, bright, indirect light, avoid full sun, water, keep moist. Color varieties, red blooms with yellow spandex. Birds of Paradise Bird of Paradise is one of the most tropical flowers in the world with large distinctive flowers that some says resembles a bird's head and beak. They are also surprisingly, surprisingly easy to grow indoors while it is a vigorous rapidly growing indoor plant. It should be fertilized weekly and kept Port pound. Birds of paradise can grow up to 6 feet tall and need 3 to 5 years of growth before they flower. Light, bright light with some direct sun. Water, keep moist. Color varieties blue and orange. Brumelites are probably the easiest of tropical plants to grow. These tropical air plants are easily adapted to growing in pots and they are much more tolerant than many of the lush leaved colleagues. They come in a wide array of colors and textures. Brumelites can be grown in fast draining potting soil consisting of 
peat based soil and sand it can also be grown mounted to boards or logs and hung on the wall light bright indirect light water water weekly but avoid standing water color varieties red green purple orange yellow a sports or other combinations cordyline these bold and colorful foliage plants are available in a wide array of leaf colors and with proper care can provide a dramatic ascent it is also known as thai tree or hawaiian thai tree cordyline needs a warm draft free location rich well drained high quality potting mix with the ph of 6 to 6.5 and weekly feeding light bright indirect water keep continuously moist except in winter color varieties green red yellow white purple and purplish green dumpkin dumpkin is also a true tropical foliage plant to grow this popular plant use a fast draining potting mix and place it in a warm location light bright light in winter indirect light during growing months water water twice a month reduce water in winter color variety is green and white ficus ficus plants are fushi but a well grown ficus is near the pinnacle of house plants large glossy and imposing ficus plants are well worth the effort ficus plant drop their leaves in drafty cold conditions they don't like to be moved in fact they absolutely require adequate light warm and humidity they do, do not over water watch for pets such as mites mealy bugs white flies and aphids light bright indirect light water water regularly during the growing season allowing the soil to dry out between watering reduce water in fall through late to winter color varieties small yellow or white blossoms kentia palm palm trees are the enduring symbol of everything tropical and many palms are easy to grow indoors you can enjoy them in a entryway or in corner or sunny room plant your palm in fast draining potting mix fertilize monthly and keep the plant warm light filtered bright sun water water weekly in summer letting the soil dry between watering peace lily peace lilies are lovely especially when massed in bloom this plant is easy to grow and maintain and the blooms last for months even if they are a bit of challenge to overwinter it is still well worth the effort avoid dry direct sunlight light medium indirect light water evenly moist soil and mist frequently in summer reduce water in winter color varieties white creamy white philodendron for indoor use these are climbing varieties and known climbing types of philodendrons light medium indirect light water water and mist frequently in summer reduce water in winter sclerophylla sometimes also called as umbrella plant their leaves are broad glossy and abundant use them as background plants or place a large one in bright warm corner or for nice canopy effect light warm and humidity are keys to successfully growing sclerophylla plant 
plant them in rich loose potting media with moist compost and fertilize twice a month orchids orchids are the most varied of all the plant groups they come from all over the world from deserts to woodlands to tropical forests but the orchids most people love are from tropical and subtropical climate avoid dry air direct heat or droughts and direct sunlight instead provide a warm humid environment light bright indirect light water in general once per week lot to dry between watering do not overwater color varieties white yellow pink purple red orange variegated Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hello, friends. I'm Sujata. You're watching All Season Gardening. Once again, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is fantastic low light plants that can survive even in the darkest corner. These indoor varieties are perfect for gardening beginners. Our top ten low light house plants thrive in unexpected conditions and are super easy to grow. Peacock plant. Its patterned and colorful leaves make this plant a lovely addition to any room. It grows well in medium to low light and requires consistent moisture for best performance. Dumpkin, the dumpkin plant is a fan favorite happy with standard potting soil, average home temperature and average humidity. This plant leaves are variegated in greens and cream colors and can reach a height of up to 5 feet. Dragon tree The dragon tree is another plant that is near impossible to kill. Direct sunlight in overwatering is not something the Dracaena magenta takes well to. Spider plant Hands down this one of the most popular house plant and is extremely easy to grow it actually can stand up a lot of neglect and will thrive in indirect sunlight heart leaf philodendron the sweet heart of a plant can thrive indoors year round without any complaint but they do enjoy occasional stay outdoor in a shady spot when the weather permits bromelets the tropical house plant can actually survive on fluorescent light alone and thrives in humid conditions like bathrooms a small bromelite on a vanity can add life to any bathroom peace lily the popular shade loving house plant is super low maintenance and actually needs to dry out between watering it reblooms several times a year and extremely easy to grow chinese evergreen the chinese evergreen can make even the novice indoor gardener look like expert this tropical foliage plant is one of the most durable house plants you can grow tolerating poor light dry air and drought snake plant caring for snake plant is very straightforward these plants can be neglected for weeks at a time yet with their strippy leaves and architectural shape they still looks fresh additionally they can survive low light levels drought and have few insect problems cast iron plant the cast iron plant is one of the easiest house plant to care for while this species does not prefer bright light it survives well in shaded spots and rooms lacking natural light really the only way to harm this plant by overwatering or reporting too often So friend this is all about the topic hope you like the video if you find it informative then please subscribe to my channel like it share it and also add a comment thank you friends thanks for watching thank you